camera just gave me like a lens error. It's still broken, but you know, now it's just too weird shit. Anyways, uh, we're putting together, or I'm putting together a really sweet computer for my mom. And this is gonna be for her new camera. She's getting a super duper fancy ass camera. So this is gonna be like a Core i7 4970K. Uh, if you guys don't understand, don't worry. It's just the fastest you can buy right now. And we got some other parts, so we'll go grab those right now. So for a motherboard, I went with the uh, Asus, no Gigabyte. Let's see, Z97X, UD3, HBK, whatever. Ports needs, this thing supports all kinds of RAM and just has pretty much everything you want. Uh, most importantly, uh, a lot of SATA ports, which I believe it does have, I think it does six. Lots of display options, and it even has separate for the old style PS2 mouse and keyboard, which actually is beneficial as opposed to USB if you want accuracy. Not too much included, just uh, two SATA cables, you know, plug ins in the back panel. So that's about average for what comes with the motherboard. And then to go with that, we got the Samsung, what is this, 850 Evo as a secondary and this is 256 gig the computer already has a 256 so and a one terabyte uh, internal so it's gonna be a smoking fast machine because of this the i7 4790 which is a, a very expensive cpu four cores plus hyper threading equal equal eight cores basically just a small fan this is for the hard drives just to cool them down the case already has other fans and then this one this is a Gigabyte 290, or R9 270. I'm sticking with a Gigabyte theme here, pretty much. This is an older card, but not too much older. And it is pretty much a super beast for anything you want to do, including gaming. This is just a 2 gig version, I think. But you can get a 4 gig, but it costs about as much as, I don't know, a GTX 980. Like we're getting up there in price where this one was I think about on sale for 160 yeah so there you have it dual cooler uh, these fans you know this is an aftermarket fan setup of course by wind force and hopefully it exhausts all the heat out the back here like a good little fella because it looks like it's just kind of built to expel everything but like giant heat pipes all aluminum inside there so it's got a nice radiator we're just gonna be cooling this on air it'll be plenty plenty fine like that anything included i think this just comes with the same bare bones yeah just a couple of adapters and an sli oh look and i got the i7 here so that's a very pricey cpu so i'm gonna make sure i take a lot of caution while installing this pretty easy just match the Little arrow on here to arrow on here, which would be right there. The cooling, I'm just gonna use stock cooling. And uh, this one is actually pre-applied with thermal paste, so I don't really need to apply thermal paste, although I do have some, so I could scrape this off with alcohol and redo it, but this should do fine uh, for what this computer is meant for. I also noticed on the back here, there's two little notches where the CPU goes into, so it's really hard to mess this one up. Like, it's uh, it's no brainer. And then just to pop this down, put it back where it came from, make sure it's not using too much force, and just snap her back into place. There you go, your CPU is installed. The next thing to do is just to install your heatsink, and that's just a matter of, well, it depends on the heatsink you're using, but for this one, it's just the uh, factory Intel, which uh, should do fine for this. Huh. Probably like this would do. And then you just want to push this down, basically go like one, two, three, four, in that kind of pattern, force it down, it'll go click, and then it's installed. Right. Oh, dang, did I just install it? Okay. No, it's just sitting there. All right. All right, so a little bit of slack on the cable here. I just hit it back around there to the uh, CPU header. As marked on the other board, it's usually white. And now we're gonna put this thing in. So each side, there we go. You wanna hear that good metal to metal snap. My cable management may have gotten in the way here. Yeah, so you might have turned them just a tiny bit to get that actual click. Boom, she's done. So that's about that. We just have to wait for the RAM to come in. And I'll put this machine together and make one hell of a freaking computer. Yeah, all right, thanks for watching and stay tuned and I'll have this built, it'll be a monster.